At President Trump's rally tonight in Pennsylvania, scattered among the crowd are people who believe in some conspiracy theories that are so broad and often bizarre, it's difficult to believe, to put it mildly. It's no longer an isolated thing. Take a look. The sign with a Q on it, it stands for QAnon. This video is from the presidential rally in Tampa two nights ago. Last night on the broadcast, we focused more closely on what the group believes in and their views from the fringes of American political thought. Tonight, we wanted to give them a chance to have their say, but because so much has been written about their reluctance to talk, we weren't sure what we would get when we sent Gary Tuckman to tonight's Trump rally. Gary joins us now. So what happened? Well, Anderson, the rally just ended a short time ago. People are now streaming out. Many of these people arriving early this morning, waiting in line. And like I said, yeah, we wanted to see if the people who followed this movement wanted to talk to us. And we found that they did want to talk to us. And what they told us was quite interesting. Waiting in line in a driving rain, very motivated Trump supporters wanting to see the president in person in Wilkes-Barre, Pennsylvania. We are Q. Some of those people wearing and holding the 17th letter of the alphabet. Are you holding a big red, white, and blue Q? Why do you have that? It's a movement, man. It's the shift. I can feel it coming. Some call it the Great Awakening. You're wearing a shirt that says Q, W, W, G, 1, W, G, A. What does that mean? It means where we go one, we go all. QAnon is the people that believe in what Trump's trying to do to change our country. That is a generalization. More specifically, what QAnon is is a fringe movement in which many baseless conspiracy theories are discussed on the Internet organized around the idea of an anonymous but well-connected person or persons nicknamed Q. Your shirt says the storm is here, QAnon. What does that mean to you? Well, I've been following all the posts since uh, October 28th. On the internet, from QAnon. Right, the, started on The person or people who say they're Q. Right. What do you think Q is, by the way? It's an entity of 10 or less people okay, that what? have... Um, uh, involved with the government? High, high um, clearance, you know, security clearance. And how do you know that? Well, I'm just telling you, this is what it appears to be. What it appears to be. So you don't have any yeah. proof of that. That's what you're guessing it is. And you don't have any proof there, is it? We've all been uh, gathering online and talking together as as Americans and uniting and... Do you think it's maybe just to make you comfortable talking with other frustrated, sometimes yes. angry people? Yes. But maybe it's not true because there's no evidence of it. It's just stuff being talked about on the Internet, right? There hasn't been any non-evidence yet. A major mantra among QAnon followers, the press is the enemy. You guys are So you don't believe enemy. in the First Amendment? Oh, I totally believe in the First Amendment. Well, you don't. You just said the press is well, the enemy. Well, you guys are weaponized. You guys are totally weaponized by the CIA. What is that? You guys are weaponized by the CIA. By the CIA. I don't know anybody in the CIA except a couple of people I've interviewed over That's the years. Fair. Okay. But weaponized, what does that even mean? Like you say stuff that doesn't even mean anything. Um, the term weaponized by the CIA. Conspiracy theorists. The, the term. Do you think I'm weaponized by the CIA? Maybe not to your knowledge, and it's that's really that's unfortunate. You believe there is a deep state. Yes. And what do you think that deep state's doing? You think they're running this country? I think they were, and they're petrified now right. because think, they're losing their control. But Donald Trump's the president. He's running the country, right? Yeah, but he's having to fight against the I mean, deep he state. said he could do it all himself. Everything would be so easy when he came into office. And he, you think he's fighting with the deep state a year and a half into his term? I think he's been fighting since before he was elected. And who is in this deep state? Who are the people in it? Oh, I definitely believe that, like, the Clintons, the Bushes, the Obamas. So you think the Clintons, the Bushes, and the Obamas are running this country as we stand here in the rain? No, they're trying. The anonymous Q is a hero to many here. One man actually hoping to communicate with Q by looking straight into our camera. Is it possible you're believing bogus information, yes or no? Is it possible that I'm believing bogus information? Mm. I mean, let's see. Let's see, Q. Let's see. Gary, did you get the impression that, that large numbers of people who were lined up for the rally support the QAnon movement? Because obviously, you know, if there are thousands of people at a rally, what, what sort of numbers do you see? Yeah, I don't think it was large numbers, Anderson. A lot of people we talked to had no idea what it was. And other people just wanted to see Donald Trump, and some people just wanted to see a president of the United States with their children. So it seems like a relatively small number. What I will tell you is that it's catching on, and I would anticipate at future rallies we'll see more people holding big cues and wearing clothes with cues on them. Do, do the people you talk to believe that President Trump supports QAnon? Well, President Trump has never said anything about this organization. Also, if you could call it an organization, this internet fraternity. Sarah Sanders, the press secretary, was asked about it yesterday, and she did not give the indication at all that President Trump supports it. The contrary. However, each and every person I talk to who follows this does believe 
fervently believes that Donald Trump is a supporter, even though he hasn't said so. All right. Gary, appreciate you being there. Thank you. Joining me now is Will uh, Summer, reporter for The Daily Beast, who's been writing about QAnon pretty much since its inception. Appreciate you being with us. Do, do you have any idea how many followers QAnon actually has, how many people believe in these conspiracy theories? Because I, I certainly don't want to paint, you know, people, everybody who's at this rally with such a broad brush. As Gary was saying, it seems like it's a relatively small number of people who went to this rally. Certainly not. It, you know, it, it is hard to tell how many people believe in it. Certainly you wouldn't want to say everyone at the rally, everyone who's a diehard Trump supporter. But at the same time, the numbers, I mean, you know, at these rallies, we're seeing maybe a couple dozen QAnon believers. That's pretty bizarre, given what QAnon people believe. Uh, in April, there was a QAnon rally in D.C. I went to that. A couple hundred people showed up. They were chanting the QAnon slogans. Uh, so, you know, that was before this stuff really hit the mainstream over the summer and only in one city. So, it, you know, whatever it is, it is it is remarkable that so many people have uh, become convinced of this. And from what I understand, they have people who believe in the QAnon thing have a different belief of what the Robert Mueller investigation actually is. Is that right? Yes, that's right. So, you know, they interpret these clues that are posted online. And so they've come to believe that Robert Mueller is actually in league with Trump and a sort of ally of his and the idea that Mueller is investigating the Trump campaign is all sort of a ruse to cover up that Mueller is really investigating the likes of Hillary Clinton or Barack Obama. So why would Donald Trump be attacking the Mueller investigation? That's, that's all part of the, you know, the that's cover. all part of the ruse. I see. So, it, I mean, I understand a, a rival to Q has now emerged, someone who goes by the letter, or m multiple people go by the letter R, is that right? That's right. So uh, uh, Q kind of disappeared in July. And so his followers, as you can see, are very devoted. And they were left sort of bereft. And then someone named R showed up and started, started giving clues. And they said, oh, well, maybe, you know, this is the new guy to follow. And they posited that, posited that R was uh, the JFK, uh, John F. Kennedy Jr., who, of course, died nearly two decades ago. Uh, and then Q came back and said, don't trust that guy. You know, like with any conspiracy theory, you know, you end up with a lot of factions. So does this have anything to do with the, the Pizzagate? Folks, the people believed, you know, there are people, Democrats or Hillary Clinton or others running a pedophile ring in a pizza parlor basement? Absolutely. QAnon is, in a way, sort of like a more respectable mega pizza gate. Uh, you know, a, a key part of QAnon is this idea that Trump is, you know, he's not just fighting against the deep state to the extent of, like, the intelligence agencies or the Clintons. He's fighting against as, what they believe to be global pedophile networks of the, amongst the elites all over the world. Uh, so, it, it, again, it's, it, they have no evidence for this. It's really crazy stuff. Uh, but, but they've kind of folded Pizzagate and a lot of other conspiracies into this sort of giant conspiracy theory. And, and I understand that some people believe that the president has given them secret signs, like that... Uh, the way he holds his hand or puts some fingers together, he's forming the letter Q during speeches. Is that right? Yeah, so they're, they're like obsessed with, as we saw in the video, getting some sort of validation from Trump that Q is real. Uh, and so like they'll, they'll look at videos and they'll say maybe he's moving his hand in a way that's like a Q or if he mentions the no number 17, which of course Q is the 17th letter in the alphabet, they see that as a sign. They've been asking a lot of White House reporters to ask Trump about Q. Uh, it doesn't seem like anyone has taken them up on their offers, but but they seem to feel that that this, you know, if, tr if Trump was asked about it, they, they, they're they convinced he would say, oh, yeah, it's all real. D does anyone seem to know who the person Q actually is or if it is a, a you know, one person or if it's groups of people? Uh, Q's identity right now is very mysterious, uh, you know, whether it's one person, a group of people, uh, you know, maybe a foreign uh, operative. Uh, you know, there's a lot of theories going around, but really nothing that I, that I think uh, is worth considering. You know, I, I think perhaps it's maybe just a, a troll or a couple trolls in a basement somewhere and this whole thing's gotten out of hand. So the core, just uh, can you just explain again the core belief, because the whole international pedophile ring it, it linked with the deep state, and Robert Mueller's actually working with President Trump. I mean, it's all, um, you know, outlandish. Yeah, it's very confusing. I mean, sort of the, and, and it's constantly growing, like sort of with the, with the, something will happen in the news and they'll claim, oh, the deep state tried to shoot down Air Force One. Uh, sort of the gist of it is that Trump has teamed up with the military and sort of various virtuous world leaders, including Vladimir Putin and Kim Jong-un, to take on this global cabal of Democrats and Hollywood elites and bankers and all this kind of stuff who they claim are essentially responsible for all the evil in the world. And soon Trump will have all these people arrested.